Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create month-to-date calculations in your pivot tables using a slicer. So this is great for month-over-month -month or year-over-year -year comparisons. In this pivot table here, I basically have a sum of price or sum of revenue here, and I'm trying to compare the uh, January 2016 number to the January 2015 numbers and also the historical months as well. But I only have the first 15 days worth of data for January 20. 2016. So I need to filter down my 2015 numbers to also include just the first 15 days because currently these numbers include all the days of the month, the entire month's worth of data, and it's not easy to make a comparison between just 15 days worth of data and then a full month historically. So we can use a slicer for this. I have a slicer set up here that just basically has the day of the month. And if I just select one through 15, the first 15 days of the month, that will filter my pivot table for the first 15 days in each month over here. So now I can start to make some comparisons between the first 15 days in 2016 of January and then all of the months in 2015 as well. So in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how I set this up, how we add this slicer in here, and we will also add a field to our data set uh, that calculates the day. All right, so I'm gonna start fresh with my data set here, and we're gonna go ahead and recreate that pivot table and the slicer. So just to give you a little background on this data set, it's very simple. It basically just contains a column here for the date. This would be the transaction date. So each row in the data set will be one transaction for an item that we sold and the price that we sold it for. So as you can see here, uh, there's a lot of data. If I hit control down arrow, that'll take me all the way to the bottom of the table here. And you can see we only have data through January 15th, 2016. So the first 15 days of the month for the new year. So we basically just need to uh, create a pivot table and then have a way to filter it for just the first 15 days for every month in the data set. So I'm gonna hit control up arrow again to go back up to the top and to do that we're going to add a new column here to our data set so i'm just going to select the cell here i'm going to type the word day we're going to call it day and then hit enter and that'll add a column to our table here now i am using excel tables for this you don't have to use excel tables but it does make it easier uh, when you're working with pivot tables so in this day column we basically want to return the day number of the month for the date and excel has a function built into it called day that will help us do that. So I'm gonna type equals and then the word day, and you can see there's a day function right here. So I'm gonna hit the tab key to tab into that. Now the day function is very simple. It just has one argument, which is the serial number, and that just means a date in Excel. So the serial number is gonna be a date. So we're gonna feed this day function a date. In this case, I'm gonna select cell A2 here uh, to select that date for that uh, row, and then I'm gonna close the parentheses and hit enter. And that'll basically fill the entire column here with the day of the month for each date. So you can see here in row four, uh, we have, it's returning a two for the second day of the month because this is January 2nd, 2015. If I scroll down here to February, you can see that it's still doing the same thing for this row here, it's returning a four for uh, February 4th, the fourth day of the month. So we basically now have a column that is going to allow us to filter the data for just a certain period or a certain range of days within the month. So the next thing I wanna do is create the pivot table. So I'm just gonna select any cell inside my table here. I'm gonna go up to the insert tab on the ribbon and choose pivot table. And that'll prompt me to create the pivot table. It'll automatically select my entire table over here for me. That's called TBL data. And it's gonna place it on a new worksheet and I'll hit okay. So that's basically created a new pivot table here uh, in a new worksheet. And now we just need to build out the pivot table and add the slicer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the date field and drag it into the rows area of the pivot table. Now I'm using Excel 2016 and Excel 2016 automatically groups your dates uh, for you. So it's gonna basically uh, automatically group it into uh, year 
years, quarters, and then months. And that's what's happened here. So if you could expand this, you can see the quarters and then the months within those quarters. Now, if you're using an earlier version of Excel, uh, that won't happen when you drag the date into the rows area. So I'm gonna ungroup this, right click, ungroup. And this is what you'll see if you're using an earlier version of Excel. And it's very easy to create a date grouping. You just right click on any cell that contains a date and clip click the group button here and that'll bring up this window for grouping and in this case here we just want to uh, group the months and the years so you can just select those two items if you want to do a quarter over quarter comparison you could select quarters as well we're going to keep it simple for this so i'm going to click ok and now basically i have the years and the months here in my rows area. And I can see that over here as well. We have years and then date uh, basically represents the months. So now all I'm gonna do is drag the rows, or I'm sorry, the years up into the columns area. So I basically get a column or a year over year comparison. I have 2015 in column B, 2016 in column C. And now I wanna drag the price. I'm gonna take the price and put that in the values area of the pivot table. And that's basically gonna create a calculation a sum of price. So now we're getting closer to the pivot table that we saw in the original example. I don't need the grand total here, so I'm just going to right click and select remove grand total. We don't need that for now. And now we need to add the slicer. So basically, I want to add the slicer for that day field that we created in the data set. So I'm going to move uh, my field list out of the way here. I'm just going to select any cell inside the pivot table, go to the analyze or the options tab in the ribbon, and then choose insert slicer. That'll bring up the insert slicer window here, and it'll just have a list of all the fields in our data set. I'm going to select day, click the day checkbox, and then hit OK. And that'll basically now create this slicer and add it to the sheet that'll allow us to slice on the days. And uh, you might also want to quickly reformat this. So I had seven columns here. If you go to the, if you select the slicer, go to the options tab, the columns here, instead of one, I'm going to type seven and hit enter. And then I just need to resize my slicer a little bit. And basically now I have what looks like a calendar and I can just left click and hold on the one and then drag down here to the 15 and that will slice my pivot table or filter my pivot table for the first 15 days of every month. So now you can see here that my pivot table has been filtered for uh, the first 15 days of every month and I can start making some comparisons uh, to, from my 2016 to my 2015 data. So we can see here that uh, we actually have the same exact amount for 2015 and 2016 for the first 15 days of the month. Now you can also use this slicer for other time analysis as well. Maybe you just want to see the first seven days of the month. You could select the one, drag over here, uh, release the mouse on seven, and that'll select all first seven days of the month. And now we can see basically our pivot table has been filtered for the data for the first seven days of the month. And if we just, just to explain that, how that's working uh, a little better, if we jump back to the data set here, again, we have our day column. All that slicer is really doing is filtering our data down for those certain number of days. So in this case here, if we just wanted to see the data for the first day or the first two days of the month, I can just select those items, filter for those items, and click OK. And now basically my data set's filtered down for just the first two days of every single month in the year. As I scroll down, we're only seeing ones and twos in the day column here. And that's exactly what the pivot table is doing as well. It's just basically in memory, it's filtering that information. If we just want the first two days, it's just filtering that information for those first two days and then displaying that in the pivot table. So that's basically how that works. And it's a great way to do all kinds of time analysis and especially month to date calculations when you only have a certain time period or a certain number of days in your most current month of data. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.